Welcome to Getting Started, the Acrolink Sidebar. In this lesson, you will become familiar with the Acrolink Sidebar, run your first check, and correct some common issues. The Acrolink Sidebar does far more than check your spelling and grammar. Depending on your specific writing duties, you can select from different profiles and writing guides. For example, do you write for marketing and legal? You may use certain words in marketing that have been deprecated in the legal area. Acrolinks will let you know. We've provided some example marketing text for you to run a check on. Click Check. First, take a look at the red 55 in the upper right corner. This is your Acrolink score for this content. Red indicates that you have a number of issues. This score will move from red to yellow to green as you resolve each issue. A green score indicates the content meets the standards at your organization. Issues are listed by category. Each category has its own color designation and an explanation. These are called issue cards. In this example, you see cards for spelling, grammar, preferred terms, style, conversational tone, terminology, and clarity. The color of the card helps you identify the type of issue you are reviewing. For example, a grammar issue will always be blue. On some cards, Acrolinks will provide a suggestion in green. These are easy to accept. Click the green suggestion, see the explanation of why it was flagged, and make the change all in one step. Your text is automatically changed. To see the place in your content where an issue occurs, click the word in black. If Acrolinks finds a repeated issue, the card will give you the option of replacing all issues at once. Select the checkbox and click the green suggestion. Your text is automatically updated. If there is an issue you don't want to change, you can ignore it. And if you don't understand an issue, you can click More Information to open a help page in your browser. For clarity and conversational tone, when you click on the black type, the issue card expands and you get advice on different ways you can improve your content. The content is highlighted in the text and you can update it on the spot. At any point, you can check your content again to see the impact your changes have made on the score. Best practice is to achieve a score in the green zone. You can check your content as many times as needed to achieve a green score. It's a great idea to run a final check once you've made all the changes. In this lesson, you reviewed the options available in the Acrolink sidebar, ran a check, and identified issues. Congratulations! You now know enough to get started on improving your content. Further information and resources are available at training.acrolinks.com.